So, Much Do About Nothing is um, set in a 17th century Italian wow. fishing village uh, called Messina. And our Messina has a lot of um, colorful characters, and it's mainly run by a family, but it's a big community. And a group of soldiers from a different part of Italy um, return to them because they it's the place that they have the most fun, and that's kind of what sets the play off. I think for, for Claudio and Hero, I think they have an immediate affection for each other that they possibly had before we went off to this war. And now that we're back, both of them are very willing and ready to leap in. Um, and then it changes when somebody inserts a lie about them and who they are, and, and they are both duped into believing something else. And for us, I feel like we've, our characters have um, sworn off love mm -hmm. um, and possibly have a history too prior to this war, the skirmish, and but there's a definite connection between them that everybody knows <laughs> but them. <laughs> the opposite things happen. Claudio and Hero are close together and get together right away mm -hmm. and they end up spreading apart. And Beatrice and Benedict are, are far from, from being together and they move closer and closer in towards mm -hmm. each other. So that's kind of the structure of the the story of the, the two love stories. Yeah, I feel like too, that to add on to that, Beatrice and Benedict, I think the obstacle is within ourselves, yeah. you know? It's like, we're, it's built yeah. in there. And yeah. so it's up to other people to kind of try to break that down. And it is also still, I, you know, up to Benedict and Beatrice to overcome that obstacle within themselves. And, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's like, mm -hmm. we are kind of as easily swayed as Hero and Claudio. Yeah by external forces or yeah. machinations yeah. Um, and kind of puts us in a tizzy. Uh, and, and yeah, and here in Claudio, it's, yeah, like you said, it's like they're so innocent, pure, something else on the outside like totally um, erupts that. Um, so it's interesting how that happens. It's a really good story for students because mm -hmm. it is about love and finding, finding your person and, mm -hmm. And it's a, I mean, it's a village full of, full of young people around each other. It's also very funny. Um, so it's a good introduction as one of the comedies to, to what Shakespeare's language is. It's interesting because I think that's always the discussion of like, why is Shakespeare still relevant? Mm -hmm. And, you know, there is something about the language and the poetry of it that endures, but I think that it's the people too, it's about people and, you know, at the core, human relationships and um, conflict. What's beautiful about our community and the village that we've built is that it can still be an Italian fishing village in 17th century, but still have these bodies and experiences and backgrounds inhabit um, the space and to not have to explain it or justify it in any way but that we are here and we're just as capable of, um, you know, inhabiting these worlds and these characters that are larger than life and um, because we are all human beings that, you know, are worthy of experiencing the full potential, right? Yeah. It's really, I mean, it's about family and love and, and mistakes and friendships and forgiveness. So, I mean, it's all stuff that students are dealing with on a daily basis.